Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. If you've seen our last vlog, we got delivered today from the load we brought out here from Oregon. Yep, yep. In Virginia this morning. We delivered in Virginia. <sighs> Another that was a whip. That was a whip. I know, man. This week, golly. <laughs> I don't want to start I, complaining about it again, but no, golly. No, I, I hopefully, because we pick up our next load tomorrow, which you'll find out about in the next clip, but hopefully that one will go a little bit smoother. Yeah. I don't know what was up. I don't know if it was just because we had a month off, then we worked, what, a week or two and had, the well, we went The first week home. back was easy. It was. But we we didn't do a 3,300 almost mile run either. No, we did back to back. We did Texas do back to, to California, yeah. then California all the way out to Georgia. That's right. So that was yeah. more than 3,300 miles. It was. So maybe having that four and a half days off when we went yeah. to Mount St. Helens like screwed us up. I don't know, but we were both struggling <laughs> on that last load. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah. But it's delivered. It's delivered. And yeah, we, we got quite a few line loads lined up we, we got do. we pick one up tomorrow deliver and then we pick uh, got one line, lined up for after that mm -hmm. for next week next week is columbus day so that's gonna be a short week next week yep. but yep. that's all right yeah. that's all right um yeah we after we delivered i got us uh closer to our pit for our pickup tomorrow we had a deadhead about 200 miles so we uh -huh. are not far from our pickup now about 18 miles and Pick up, our pickup's not till noon, so I actually get to sleep in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Like, I slept all day today. He that's did. Why, that's why we're doing a clip so late tonight. I but know. I'll probably sleep tonight, too, and probably sleep tomorrow before I have to drive <laughs> all night tomorrow night. So. Well, hopefully that'll catch us up or catch you up. I know it I'm should catch I'm me up. for bed. Yeah, because I know when I get a lot of sleep, I could stay up for, like, 24 hours, no problem. But yeah. Um, but I'll just get a bunch of sleep, drive tomorrow night, and the next load, it's not a really long one, no. so. No, no, not too no, long. No, um, just good pan. I made us, it's, I made us a vegetable beef stew in the oh, Instant Pot tonight. So oh my gosh, oh, I've been craving that. And yeah. it, it's like 54 degrees out here, so it's like perfect weather for, <laughs> for a vegetable stew. I'm loving it. Oh gosh, so good. I make it with bone broth. I think I actually made a video on how I do it. I don't know if I do, I'll link it above here i don't know if y'all have noticed but we got a new sign back here in the sleeper can you see it we actually had that made when we were out in south dakota in uh Ke was it keystone yeah yeah there was a guy no. there was it we, or yeah it was in rushmore was it south yeah rushmore. yeah it was in south dakota yeah. it was in that little town I that think we it was keystone that we went to Maybe not. it was one of those little towns it was the other town the other way <laughs> oh, keystone okay. was the one that we went and had dinner a bunch that's of right times. that's right and then, then there, there was, was another one yeah i don't remember the name but there was a guy there making uh these wood signs and we had to make us one yeah so, yeah it was... perfect spot for it yeah i love it the yeah. little little logo on there <laughs> Very cool, very yeah. cool. But yeah, we're just uh, gonna chill the rest of the night, get some good night sleep. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna uh, finish doing a little bit of editing. What time is it? Yeah, I edited up a video while Jason was oh, sleeping. It's only eight so. o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Get that done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> catch up with them tomorrow after I guess we get our yeah. load picked up. Yeah, I guess tell y'all we'll, about it. We'll tell you all about it tomorrow. <laughs> Zippity-doo-dah, zippity Oh my, oh my, what a wonderful day. <laughs> well, good Thursday, Friday. 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 Happy yeah. Friday. Woo, party. Boop, boop, boop. It's a weekend. <laughs> Not for us. <laughs> Every day's a weekend for us. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Man, we got picked up. We got, got a load. Well, one piece, 2,900 pounds. We are going to... We are going to North Dakota. We picked up in Delaware. Delaware. Going to North Dakota. Yep. We are in Elkton, Maryland right now. Just finished fueling up this bad boy. Putting Go. some go-go juice in her. <laughs> yeah, we had to get fuel and death. Yeah. Oh my it. gosh, I'm so fed up with TA pumps. <laughs> and I know it's gonna get worse the colder it gets. Oh, I know. Their buttons. <sighs> Oh my God, it's like every single time we stop at one, they never work. Uh, and it's always one different. It's always a different one button. Like it today it was, uh, do you want to 
did I want any ca a cash advance and I kept pushing the no and it wouldn't do nothing and so I hit uh, just enter for zero amount and then it asked if I wanted to buy anything in the store add to my bill and I kept pushing no 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 and it wouldn't work and I finally punched it <laughs> and, and I guess by punching it it freaking selected yes I did want something <laughs> so then the, I had to go in to get my receipt which was a to big close old it out. to close it out to be able to get my amount off my online and what a <laughs> one time I actually it's been a couple times with Landstar where we're required to put in our driver's license number and the state mm. and right at the very last one Texas the X would not work. I, I went through the whole process, slipped my cards, slipped my my reward cards, put all my information in, got to the last one. X would not work, <laughs> and I had to move pumps yeah. because I couldn't go inside. Well, I didn't want to go inside. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what their their deal. Trying to get you to go inside, spend yeah. more money. Yeah, even. trying to make you come inside, <laughs> waste my time. I oh am, my goodness. Oh, I, I'm. I'm really, really, I've been saying this for years, but I'm really close to going to Pilot Flying J's. You know, was it last week? We actually fueled at a couple of Flying J's we did. for our fuel up. Yeah, and yeah just because they were in our proximity and that's what we when we needed fuel and so i said screw it let's do it there yeah i was telling jason because i i always clean the windshield when i stop for fueling man they have some nice long poles oh, to do the windshield the and windshield washers yeah. the sponge thing and squeegee on them was nice yeah, they yeah. weren't all that's rare up. i i know it's rare it's not every pilot flying jet no, is nice no but i think we've always had better experience at pilot flying jet yeah Plus we, TA, I mean, they they still have barely opened up any restaurants for other drivers. And while that means nothing for us, it pisses us off that other drivers can't get meals, you yeah. know? It's funny, I follow them on Facebook and their posts are, oh my gosh, like typical, what's that, marketing strategy style <laughs> posts, you know, the, the kind you read it, but you know TA, so you're like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> bashing TA. I am bashing TA. Okay. No, it is good. It does. It is frustrating. We've though. been fueling many, at TA Petro for eight, eight years. Eight years, and because we get the biggest fuel discount, but it's like if the stuff doesn't work, if it's a hassle every time you fuel because either the pump's not working. Oh gosh, I can't count the amount of times when I get deaf at TA that the dang thing doesn't want to work. The lever don't work. And it's just nasty. They're Their nasty. pumps are not clean. They're They're There's, you can tell what people have just thrown the DEF Probably because they were the pissed because the buttons yeah. weren't working. <laughs> it's like no pride in the stuff. They're yeah. not upgrading anything. No, they're not, no, you no. know, so it's like... Well, they're uh, buying up all these TA TA Expresses. Well, they're buying up old truck stops yeah. and making them TA Expresses. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I haven't stopped in any of those yet. I but. told Jason, is like, why not take that money and instead of doing that, upgrade and uh, modernize the ones you've got make them better upgrade oh. the bathrooms upgrade your whatever i know i know oh, they, they still gosh. try to the, the, uh, where was it in reno i think it was they had a sign uh voted best showers in but it was like 2009 or something <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you can't keep claiming that it is yeah it's crazy too because we've used the <coughs> shower there all the time mainly because we got free showers from fueling yeah. but now we don't even get free showers really it's like no it's like they they changed the point system so yeah. sure we get all these points when we fuel but we never use them no we, we don't, don't get go very in much and points. use them the last time we used them is when we got the new truck we cashed them in and bought like the new gps and that kind yeah, of stuff yeah. but but that was like three years worth of savings because we never go in and yeah. spend our money with ta yeah and it's not like we go in and shower at the truck stops now because we have a shower but yeah. if we have to we'll go to a flying j before a ta to shower any day any day they have such better showers. Yeah. They are, the water pressure, the, I think I've had one bad shower at a Flying J. Yeah. And that was the one in Barstow. Yeah, anyway, so. Anyway. Dang, trucks keep going by. And <laughs> Making it bright. in the sun in here and yeah. changing our exposure. Yeah, man. But yeah, anyway, All right, we're rant now, over. Rant, rant over. over. <laughs> 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 but man, yeah, we're excited. We're going to get, we... Um, we'll be delivering this on Tuesday in North Dakota, so we will have to sit on it over the weekend, but yep. that's okay. Yep. It should be beautiful weather up north. Yeah, yeah, we won't have to run the generator all weekend or nothing. We had to run the S-PAR last night. We didn't was, have to. We didn't have to, but it you was You were chilly. being a little... 
It was like in the 40s. It was in the 40s. Oh my gosh, it nice. yeah. It was nice. I liked it. It was nice. I wanted, yeah, so it, it might be cool. And my S bar fix worked. Yeah, so, it, yeah didn't it didn't show any, show any airs overnight and it ran all or, night. And so yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, I just still can't wait to get up to S bar to do that video. I know. I'm trying when we can get up that way. But all right, well, uh, let's keep rambling because I want to get right. through and get out of here and get through freaking Baltimore before rush hour traffic. Yeah. Because it's already almost three o'clock here yeah. and that's an hour away. So yeah. we'll talk to you guys later. Oh, that's <laughs> Happy Saturday! Oh, you almost got him! <laughs> From Wisconsin, you guys. Oh man, it's so beautiful up here. Oh my gosh, I know. I woke up and I came up. I was looking at like so many beautiful fall colors. Yeah. Oh, red my goodness. trees and I thought we orange. saw some beautiful ones in Oregon and Washington, but no, this is no. They got fall going on here. They do. Yeah, it's, it's a nice brisk 57 out right now. <laughs> uh, no air conditioning for us today. Yeah, I think it's gonna be nice all day. Not we've, a cloud in the sky. We've got about 660 miles to go. Yeah. That I'm gonna finish off get us there i'll probably get up early and can help get you there start my time early you or think? something yeah maybe well, if you're i don't lucky. know i gotta stop and fuel in fargo at the ta there yeah just top off and then not far from there we get on some back roads so yeah should be fun yeah you got some good sleep the night last night before you started your shift. Yeah, I got about five six hours which yeah. was usually pretty decent yeah oh man i slept good last night I did not. Could have been a little bit longer, huh? It could have been longer, but the, here's the thing. I don't like... She won't sleep in. Well, it's not that. It's like, because I like to be able to wake up before I start my shift. So yeah. I don't want to sleep until there's like 30 minutes left of Jason's shift and then I got to get up. And right. I like to get up, wake up, make a cup of coffee, you know. I, I'm a I'm a slow waker upper. <laughs> yeah, she does take time. <laughs> I do not like to just get up and go. Yeah. I like to have that time to wake up. Yeah, I, I I can usually get up and go pretty quick sometimes if I need to. I don't like to. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can if I have to, but yeah, I like to have the time at least an hour, if not more, to just fully wake up and. Yeah get dressed and sometimes the dogs do that too they're like yeah we don't want to get up yet it's i know there's times that i'll I, well, I usually wake up before jason even if we're not on a load yeah and you know i'll get up make my coffee and they won't even no nope. move nope. out of bed nope. Nope. <laughs> they're like too early yeah sometimes i have to we have to get them out of bed <laughs> to take them out and yeah oh but gosh yeah beautiful up here mm. I could live up here if it didn't snow so much in the winter. It gets pretty bad in the <laughs> winter times up here. Remember that one time we, we, I think this was our first year, we were driving from Minneapolis down to Chicago and it was like 20 mile an hour winds. Oh gosh. <laughs> it was like 25 degrees and not Celsius, Fahrenheit. Yeah. Minus 25 degrees Fahrenheit. And the fuel was freezing up on us. Yeah, I think we've talked about that before. We had to we pull have. over. We had to change the fuel filter yep. uh, to continue going. And, oh, yeah, it was bad. It was it was bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Because, like, trying to take a fuel filter off. And this was the old Cummins ISB engine and the old 07 Kenworth. And it, it, it wasn't fun. You had to have like a fuel filter and to get the fuel filter off. You, you had to squeeze your hand in a tight spot and you couldn't have gloves on for it. So you had to take the gloves off and your hands were freezing. And we're on the side of the road, trucks blowing by 60, 70 miles an hour, yeah. making those gusts of winds like blow the, shake the hood and the truck. And yeah, I'll never forget that. That was one of our first worst experiences yeah, ever. That yeah. was like, gosh, that was probably in our first six months. First, yeah, it was it was really early into our 
our career in expediting. And we were up in Canada one time and it happened, but we were able to get to a truck stop to swap yeah, out the yeah. filter. Well, and the way I was able to get us back on the road both times oh, with yeah. using that 911, uh, house 911, the red bottle. Um, you just pour some of the diesel out, put that 911 in there and mm. crank her up. You pour douse your tanks with it. <laughs> it was so cold though, it was like, it, it worked for a little bit then we got up the road like 20 miles and then it started freezing up again and then so we pulled into a what was it a rest area and i just because i had like four bottles on hand and i just poured another bottle in each side yeah. pulled the fuel filters off again <laughs> and luckily we're at a rest area that time yeah believe me i never forgot to treat diesel yes. after yeah, that yeah after that after those two times we never have had a problem again yeah we the... never I've, I've always treated the, the mm, diesel yeah per the gallon ounces per gallon that says on the we're getting into that cold weather again. I no, I tell you, I'm not ready for winter. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, oh my goodness. So, yeah, we don't have far to go. You no? can get you some rest, and yeah. I'll get us there. You, and... know, you know what I like about being up here is I can open the window up. Oh, I had the window crack last night. Did you? The only bad, like, I love getting the fresh air. I the only bad the thing is air. it's so loud. I love the fresh air. Yeah, the, the, the sound don't even bother me. Yeah, I almost think I slept, slept better with having the window cracked. You do, it actually. Gets stuffy back there. It gets there. stuffy. It yeah, it's really, no really fresh does. air. And... Yeah. So, so yeah. when you can open the windows and get that fresh air, fresh, cool air coming oh, in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I sleep so good. And, with... and Tyson. That's when I get my best sleep. Tyson will snuggle up with you and keep you warm. <laughs> Much he's, more of where he's sucking up our body. He's here, trying but... to keep warm himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to give him his liquid uh, medicine, actually, before I get ooh, going. Ooh, I've been having the burps. You have. I think it's that bang Hiccups. of the carbonation. Yeah, I think I'm drinking too many bang energy drinks. But I'm so proud. I'm so proud that he doesn't have any Red Bulls. No and... Red Bulls. Man, no yeah. tacos. We've been no, doing we've good. No, we've been doing so good. I know we probably say this in every video. Every video. We're, we're super proud of ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> we are. We're super we're proud of ourselves. Keeping this ourselves is, motivated. This is like the longest we've really stuck at no, it. Other than you. We... I've stuck with yeah, it. Yeah, she does. This is the longest you've stuck with it. This is the longest I've stuck with it. I haven't had any carbs and like... Yeah. Well, low carbs. Very low carbs. Very. No breads. No. no? Yeah. None I'm proud of, of you. No okay. sugars. No ice cream. No sodas. No yeah. cookies. No, no sweets. Yeah. I don't eat as much anymore now i've noticed it's been like what three weeks now that uh, we've been doing yeah, it about three weeks so like i, I used to gorge down like yeah. i would eat doubles and triples of dinner and one's good enough now yeah i'm proud of you not proud of me <laughs> hope y'all are proud of him too yeah this guy yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we need to get Watch. Get give it. Give it like two, three months, maybe four. I'll be you know, kind of yeah. slimming down a little, yeah. face slimming up. Then, It'll then, be hard to tell because of the beard. But. Then we have to work on toning. Yeah. Toning up the the loose skin. You don't have and, to do some sit ups, crunches. Yeah. And, it was funny. I was walking yesterday and I felt lighter just walking. <laughs> yeah. I did when I had to go in to get my the receipt for the truck. It makes a difference. Like I was just, I'm, I felt like I was able to move faster. I was like, wow. <laughs> and it's, it's funny because when we were in uh, Mount St. Helens, I actually said to you after we did that hike around, I was yeah. like, you, it seemed like it didn't um, bother you as much. Yeah. Like it yeah. was a little bit easier yeah. than normal yeah. for you. It's, it's hard. I'm 300 pounds and yeah. that, that's hard to carry around. It's, it's, I know some, there's some other big boys out there that uh, know exactly what can I'm relate. talking about. <laughs> yeah. Know exactly. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. I'm We're done. rambling We're now. rambling all kinds of <laughs> all right. off the You go get chain. some sleep. I'll I get am. us going and get us there. Cool. We'll catch up to you guys. Tomorrow probably. Tomorrow.
what is it, Sunday? Happy Sunday, happy fun Sunday, day. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Oh, yes, yep. man. It's been a good day. Yeah, got to do a uh, bunch of cooking and uh, relaxing and video editing <laughs> yeah. and more relaxing. And... <laughs> we got to our destination last night. Oh, gosh, it was probably, what, 10, 10 30, 11? Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've been here ever since. Like I said, we can't deliver this till Tuesday because tomorrow is Columbus Day and they are not receiving anything. So we just get to chill. Yeah. Wait for them to open up on Tuesday. That's nice though. We can yep. get getting caught up with stuff and yep. yeah, not, not anything exciting. No. <laughs> <laughs> the babies yeah. have been resting all day. That's, you get to do that sometimes. Uh, yeah, it's nice to do that sometimes, nice especially to... after this week. I think, I know we've said it a couple of times this vlog, but yeah, yeah, between this was... vlog and the last vlog maybe, but golly, it was a whip this week. I don't know whip. what was up. It was a whip. <laughs> we have those sometimes and yeah you have to be ready for that yeah you know if you're coming out here but be ready for pretty much any challenge <laughs> life throws at you really because you're gonna get frustrated but yeah. you got to be ready for the challenges because I mean if you don't you ain't gonna make it right. you'll end up hating the job and yeah you know I, I know we make the job look so glamorous but we put up with a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if glamorous is the right word. I would say maybe easy. Yeah. But I will say, you know, we've been out here Eight several years. years you yeah. know, it's taken us time to get to this point. We yeah. still have frustrations and yeah. challenges. Yeah. Yeah. They're fewer and far between than when we first started. You know, our first year was a rough year, and now it's gotten a lot easier for us, which. You know, that's just something that you got to take into consideration when coming out here. You got to get through those rough times. And even though you're out here for years and years, you're still going to have rough times. Yeah, yeah. You know, we talk to our friends who are expediters, husband and wife teams. You were just talking to one last night. They were having a rough week. Yeah, so yeah. it happens. And they've been out yeah. here, I don't know, four years now. So, yeah. you know, it, it, it happens. <laughs> Be prepared. Yeah. I, I love talking with new drivers uh, after they've been out here six months or a year or something and uh, just hearing their challenges. And they think a lot of it is just them when it's not. Mm -hmm. And so we share, trust me, you're, we every, we all have this. Oh, yeah. You know, and I know everybody's experience is going to be different mm -hmm. yeah. for the most part. But we we all have the same frustrations and struggles. Oh yeah. You know just how we deal with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, but next week's a new week. New week. And it's gonna be a good week. It's gonna be we a good week. We already got another yeah. load lined up. Yep. You'll find about well, that. I don't know if it'll be a good week. Well, it'll be. Good. We have a load lined up. Anytime we have a load, we have a lo yeah. a load lined up, um, it's a good week. It's a good week. <laughs> yeah. It's a good good load. Seventeen hundred miles, I yeah. think. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, it'll be exciting to see if we can get something over next weekend, too. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed, yeah. right? Yeah. I guess we're going to go ahead and end this one here. Yep. Stay tuned for the next one to see what our next load's going to be. Yeah. Thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. You coming up here to say goodbye? Say, bye-bye, vlog. Peace, love, and expediting. <laughs> oh, look at that belly. Look at that sexy belly. <laughs> <laughs>